Hey, hey, now, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I am your host, Lynn Richardson. It's WVON 1690 AM, the talk of Chicago, the voice of the nation, our favorite radio station. And we are creating millionaires, one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time. And that means you. So inflation, deflation, recession, uh, progression, all of this stuff is going on all around us. Gases, uh, gas prices, I should say, not gases. I almost feel like they need another kind of gas to get us around. But gas prices are high. Interest rates have uh, risen and um, we are feeling a little bit out of control. But guess what? It is time for you to understand that you can take control. You can take control of this just like anything else we've had to go through. The recession of 2008 was uh, just completely devastating for many families. The economic uh, downturn, the real estate bust, uh, just everything that's happened. But guess what? You're still here. The harvest is here and the time is now. So here to talk to us today more about taking control of your financial journey because we're on a slightly different path right now. Here to talk to us more about that is Cassandra Betts. Cassandra Betts is a community manager in Chicago for community and business development. She is a local ambassador for Chase whose job is to build and nurture relationships with key community leaders nonprofit partners, and small businesses at the neighborhood level. That's good. Cassandra hosts financial health workshops, facilitates nonprofit partnerships, and offers community programming. She is helping to advance racial equity by supporting Black and Latinx communities with tools and resources to help them improve their financial well-being. With over nine years of experience in the financial services industry, Cassandra has held a number of positions, including senior branch manager, financial sales consultant, and small business specialty, specialist. Small business specialist. Let's make sure we get that right, because that's so important right now that we're building other streams of income. She has also served as a branch manager at Chase Bank. She is currently a member of the Black Organization for Leadership Development and Women on the Move. Cassandra currently lives in Chicago and spends her free time with her husband and their two young boys. She loves to travel and she loves trying new foods. Without further ado, welcome to the Millionaire's Roundtable, Miss Cassandra Betts. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lynn. I am so excited to be here with you and speaking with you and also sharing some important tips around our financial health. Just like you said, it is so important. There's a lot of uncertainty that's happened. And it's important that we know some good tips on how to boost our financial health. So thank you. Well, you know, thank you. And I'd like to start this off because one of the thing that stood out to me most about your profile is um, one of your favorite quotes. And when we think about right now in this time of uncertainty and uh, inflation and you know prices going out of control in so many areas and people aren't knowing if they should rent or buy and what in the stock market is just a little crazy. You said, and one of your favorite quotes is, attract what you expect, reflect what you desire, become what you respect, and mirror what you admire. Wow, I feel like we need to do a whole speech <laughs> on that. So how did, tell us more about that and how we can connect that to the financial situation that is causing so many of us, you know, out here, uh, confusion and frustration. Yeah, no, you know, it's funny that you bring that up. One of my mentors from the past actually kind of put that quote in front of me and it really just stuck to me over the years because I think it's important that we can identify, you know, what we want to do when it comes with goals in our lives, things that we want to become, how we want to grow. And no matter how you spin it, whether it's financial goals, whether it's goals just with your own life, goals for your business, it's really important to kind of have a plan in place and know that it's achievable. You know, you kind of have to be your own coach and really write out and identify what changes you're willing to make when it comes to kind of attaining some of those goals and when you're going to start. So it's always just stuck with me that I like to really apply that quote and keep it near me just because I know that anything is achievable as long as you put a plan in place with it, I promise. 
You know, it's I love this and I love the fact that um, this quote uh, really gives people four basic steps to really mm-hmm. kind of tackle the financial situation that they may find themselves in. So it's attract what you expect. So if you expect to have more money at the end of the month than you have month at the end of your money, then you want to attract that. It says reflect what you desire. So if you want to be wealthy, then reflect a wealthy attitude, a wealthy spirit, a wealthy demeanor. Um, It says become what you respect. So what I love about this is it gives us the, you know, the action to go out and be what it is that we see. Uh, Mm -hmm. There's there's no problem with mimicking success. And so I love that. And then it says mirror what you admire. And so Mm -hmm. it, it just makes it so attainable and it makes it so possible for all of us to say, okay, my money is funny. My change is strange. (laughs) 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 Right. (laughs) If I walk past a bank, it'll probably, you, I think it's Steve Harvey. He said something about, he was so broke that one time he walked past the bank and the alarm went off, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So you, you've got these kinds of situations, but you have given us this wonderful, wonderful blueprint and um, it's, it's just amazing. So listen, if you're out there and because I know that anxiety is real, I know that worrying is real. I know that you've got, you're trying to figure out how to pay your rent, how to pay your car note, how to put gas in the car note for something in the cars. For some people, the gas is now the same as the car note or, or Ooh, beyond, good. you know? Start on gas. That's a whole other conversation we have to have, Lynn. Oh my goodness. Isn't it something? And and so what I want people to know, what I want you to know out there is Cassandra has a plan for you. And we don't want you to feel like, okay, here we go, talking about, you know, all of these things again that you kind of want to run and hide from. We're actually here to give you some proven steps. So when we come back, we got a lot to talk about. Cassandra's going to give us some real tips to be able to apply this beautiful new experience. I'm going to say to you to say to yourself that money will not elude me. I do have power. So guess what? Stay tuned. Don't turn that dial. We'll be right back. W-V-O-N. Hi, I'm financial expert Lynn Richardson. You may have seen me on Good Morning America, The Steve Harvey Show, or Get Up Mornings with Erica Campbell. Guess what? Did you know you can get your money back if you hire your kids? You can get your money back if you go out to eat. You can get your money back if you go on a vacation. Well, guess what? In my book, Get Your Money Back, Tax Deductions You Never Know About, I'm going to teach you how you can get your money back with your home-based business legally, ethically, and all with the permission of the IRS. Just go to askglenn.org. Let's talk about real estate, real estate, real estate. Hi, I'm financial expert Lynn Mitchison. You've seen me on Good Morning America, The Breakfast Club, and WVON. I'm so excited about sharing with you the Home Buyers Club. It's time for you to get the home of your dreams. No credit, no problem. Low credit, no problem. No down payment, no problem. I am excited about you getting a piece of the American dream. Join the Home Buyers Club today. More of the Millionaire's Roundtable coming up on the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. Welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I'm your host, Lynn Richardson, and we are creating millionaires one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time. And that means you. So we're back with Miss Cassandra, and she's going to talk to us about uh, some things that are going to help us get to the next level financially, but more importantly, to take control of this part of the financial journey, because money is going to go all over the place. There are going to be times in your life where it's good. There's going to be, there are going to be times in your life where, you know, it may seem sparse and and not so present. Um, There are going to be times in your life where you have to manage difficulty. So the journey is that it is how you navigate this piece of the journey. So I'm so glad Cassandra that you're here with us. Let me ask you this, because I think we all need to hit the reset button. What are some of the first things people can do to start off on the right financial journey at this time? Oh, yes, Lynn, that is such a great question. And honestly, I like that you mentioned that a journey is gonna look different for everyone. That's that's what I like to start out with. So everyone that's listening, 
everyone's going to have a different journey. Your current financial picture is going to look different from your neighbor to your friend to your coworkers. So just keep that in mind that your journey is going to be unique to yourself. Okay. Now I like to say when you are taking control of your financial journey and really wanting to improve like your overall financial well-being, I like to break it down into three main categories. These are going to be the foundational pieces of really taking control and finding different ways to improve your financial health. Okay. Now the very first one, you have to forgive me, Lynn. I'm going to say this a lot with our time together, and that's going to be the B word, okay? And that is actually the word budget. Come budget, on now. Budget, budget, okay? <laughs> it's okay. We can handle it. We can, we can handle it. I'm sorry. I have to say that to everyone. Yes, budgeting is going to be the first step of taking control of your financial journey, okay? Um, everyone has a budget, some way, in some form, or some fashion. Typically, people know how much money they're getting paid, right? What's coming in. They typically know what most of their expenses are and what's going out, okay? But we really have to double click and truly review where exactly all of our money is going, okay? (laughs) Once we can understand that, then we can adjust on how you're using that money and hopefully try to uncover different ways to cut back on some of those expenses, or you can contribute more to savings. And we're going to get to savings in just a second, but I want to really kind of talk a little bit more about that budget piece again. So um, Chase has a really, really awesome budgeting tool. And you can access this tool. It is completely free. Chase.com slash budget builder. Okay? It's going to take you directly to our website. Again, this is free for anyone to use, Chase customers or not. And there's a worksheet that you'll be able to fill in that helps you identify exactly where all of your monthly expenses um, and all of your money is going. Okay? That's going to be the, the, the first step of starting off your financial journey and wanting to kind of take control of that is understanding where our money is going and how we can um, pivot or make changes to that. Excellent. Okay? Yes, um, yes. Now, with that budgeting tool, It really allows you to identify all of our important expenses, right? We have to pay our mortgages. We have to pay rent. We have to pay car payments and student loans, things like that. But you'll also be able to really hone in and look at some of our flexible expenses is what I like to call it. So those are expenses that, you know, look different from month to month. They may vary. That's going to be our food, our shopping, Um, maybe some entertainment and going out. That's the focus area that I want you all to kind of identify because those are things typically that we like to call our wants, right? We have our needs, we have our wants. And so that's usually where we can identify the most on where we can kind of control that budget with those flexible expenses. And then there'll also be a little section on there where you can identify some savings goals, okay? So a part of taking control of your budget is also knowing when you will be able to contribute more to your savings, so on and so forth, okay? You with me? Yes. Step number one is you have to get that budget under control, I'm telling you. (laughs) So if you have not reviewed your budget in the past 90 days, three months, I challenge you all, please do it right now. Please do it. Please do it, everybody. (laughs) When I stopped living check the Monday, I, I had to look at my budget. Now, I looked at it, and I cried for about three weeks. Uh, <laughs> but when I got through crying, I still had the same money issue. And that was there, there is nothing that would have helped me other than taking the time to get those expenses under control. So, yes, Cassandra, I'm, I'm with you. Yes, absolutely. You know, I truly believe we can reduce the stress in our life about money. As long as we kind of have an idea and, and follow that budget, we, we truly can. You know, personally, I've lost sleep over not knowing, like, where in the world is my money going? You know, yeah. I've got to make a money. What's happening? So step one is that budget piece, okay? Um, step two. This is so good. So you, I'm looking here, uh, Cassandra, what you shared. And you said step two is taking control and growing your savings. Uh, starting your emergency fund. You call this paying yourself first and you are encouraging everybody to get started now no matter where they are with what they have so if you don't have a savings plan in place i challenge you to start start today 
if you can, start next week. Start the next time you get paid, okay? Um, if we are getting into that habit again of saving money, even just the smallest amount, it can really, really add up over time, okay? Yes. Um, emergency savings is, you know, again, one of the foundations of financial health. I mean, if you're sitting here wondering, you know, well, maybe I have $200 in a savings account, maybe I have more, that's okay. Start somewhere, have something, okay? If you start small and the more consistently you save amounts every time, I promise your savings account will grow and you'll be motivated to try to save even more if you can, okay? Even, even more. Setting aside, you know, $500 or so, having that into a savings account can help with unexpected expenses because, whew, if you're like me, I had an unexpected expense a few days ago. Um, I thought I needed an oil change. I needed a lot more, um, and I was nice that, it, that I had a little bit of cushion already there to help me kind of offset that cost. I love it. What What are you recommending right now, um, Cassandra, in terms of the number of months of expenses for an emergency fund? What What are you, What are you suggesting now? Oh, that is a good question, Lynn. I'm glad you asked it. Now, um, today's answer: you should have about six months of emergency expenses set aside. Okay, and that means whatever your monthly expenses are, all your bills that you pay, the grocery money, everything. You should multiply that by six and have that stashed away. Now, with the pandemic that's happened, I truly believe we're looking at more of 12 to 18 months of yes. emergency expenses. Yeah. Okay? Now, that sounds scary. It's even scary to me to even think that. Um, and just know little by little, again, consistently, put that money aside and, and, and you know, put it away because you never know what may happen. And the pandemic has proven that. And that's why it's so important to do step one of taking control of your budget and identifying like, whew, where is my money going? That way you can identify how much money you then can put in that emergency savings. I love it. I love it. And you know, this is this is really the basics. This is how, you know, individuals who start off with zero get to become uh, wealthy. This is how businesses Every single business that is successful has a budget. And so a budget should not make you feel limited. A budget should make you feel powerful. And I'm just going to ask you this question. Do you have a budget or does your budget have you? And if you feel, yeah, if you feel like your budget has you, it is time to take control. This More of the Millionaire's Roundtable coming up on the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. Welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I'm your host, Lynn Richardson, and we are creating millionaires one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time. And that means you. Okay, Cassandra is here with us breaking it down. I'm so, so, so excited. Don't forget now, Cassandra is a community manager in Chicago, and she is all about helping you get to the next level and stay there and beyond. So we're going to continue, uh, Cassandra, uh, because all of the information you've shared so far is so good. Now we've got to figure out how to plug in this other piece. You mentioned credit scores. Can you tell our listeners what they should know about that? Oh, yes. Credit is my favorite discussion. I love speaking to adults and our youth and our community about credit. Um, I believe that maintaining a healthy credit score is that third piece of taking control of your financial journey, okay? So there's data out there that nearly 75% of Americans are concerned about their credit and improving their credit score. And, and that is no surprise, no surprise at all. Yeah. So, um, having healthy credit, and again, I don't, I don't necessarily say good credit, having healthy credit um, is important because credit is an asset. And the more you know about how credit works, what your credit scores are, what's on your credit reports, then the more control you have over the choices that can help you impact those scores. Okay? Yes. So, yes, I, I love it. And, and and with credit, you know, for some of my listeners, you may be thinking, you know, oh, gosh, I don't, when's the last time I checked my credit? So if you have not checked your credit recently, I challenge you uh, to do so. Two of my favorite tools to help you access your credit score and your credit reports um, I use them quite frequently. The first one is Credit Journey. This is a free product that Chase offers. You can go to chase.com slash credit journey and sign up for free. You'll instantly get access to one of your credit reports and your credit score. 
as well as a whole bunch of tips and tools that helps you with where you are in your own credit and how you can address some of the things that are on your mind related to credit. The second piece of that is going to annualcreditreport.com. That is one of my absolute favorites. You can get access to all three of your credit reports for free. It's the federal law. So I challenge you all to please look up those, look up that information in order to kind of really take control of maintaining that healthy credit. You know, I think uh, along with a budget, uh, kind of making us feel like we're in bondage when really when you have a, bu a budget, you have freedom because you have control. I ask, you know, do you have a budget or does your budget have you? You want to have the budget. You don't want the budget to have you up at night and all of those things. The next area for many of us is credit. And, and I've been there and I've done that. And what I want to say to everyone is this. What Cassandra is sharing right now, what Chase is doing is uh, really, you know, it's revolutionary because when I was suffering with credit problems, I didn't have anybody to really kind of tell me. I didn't have these tools. I didn't, there was no, there was no social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. There was no website. And so it was a journey that I was walking alone. But now um, that I've had an opportunity to utilize some of these very things that Cassandra is talking about, every person in my house has 700 credit scores and higher. My oldest daughter is almost at 800. I'm I'm almost jealous because I'm looking at her like, now wait a minute. <laughs> but but yeah, but but we started. Our, my husband and I started our children off on the right foot. Now what I want you all to list, understand is this: this is after I've had a foreclosure, after a bankruptcy too. I had a 13, and then I had a seven when the um, recession of 2008 hit. So. Do not let credit get you down and please do not let it um, make you feel as if you cannot win. You can win. And when Cassandra said earlier about the budget and about savings in particular, she said just a little bit at a time. Just put, you know, I say if you do a dollar this week, two dollars next week, three dollars a week after that, and you do that for 52 weeks, you'll have over fifteen hundred dollars saved. It's the same thing with your credit. I want you to take one step at a time. I don't want you to be uh, you know, emotional about it to the extent that it keeps you in bondage. You know, what, what are some of the other things we need to watch out for, Cassandra? Oh my goodness. So a couple other things as you are navigating your journey, and, and again, I want to remind everyone, your journey is unique to yourself. You're going to have your own twists. You're going to have your own turns. But just remember, keep that goal that you have at the forefront of everything, and that'll help keep you on track, okay? Yes. So a couple of things that I want you to kind of just be aware of out there are some of the scams that are happening out in the world. Oh, my goodness. It's just we, we see it so much in the banking world. There's almost a new scam, you know, kind of. Almost every day there's something going on where someone's trying to hack your phone or your Amazon account or impersonate you. And it's just important to be smart about some of those things and just kind of keep them at the top of mind, okay, when it comes to money. Because I don't, I don't know about you all, but money is important. Um, so I, I got to keep an eye on my money. I have to know what's going on to make sure I'm protecting myself. And so um, there are some, some tools out there that you can review on our chase.com website as well that talks about how to watch out for scams, how to help your loved ones watch out for scams. But just remember that it's very smart to keep an eye out on any suspicious emails that you may get, any weird text messages that come through that are kind of funny. Um, I actually got one this morning saying that my Amazon account was hacked and if I want to get a refund on the iPhone I bought, I have to click this link. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, uh-uh, yeah. And remember, your bank will never ask you for any kind of confidential information via text message, email, or phone. We, we never will. So if you're unsure, don't do it. Stop. Don't respond. Don't click that link and call your banker. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's Guess what? The harvest is here and the time is now. And this is your financial journey. And it's time for you to take control. The power is in your hands. Please don't turn that dial because we're coming right on back. Give yourself the gift of wealth with no limits. 
Lynn Richardson and New Wealth University is giving 50% off on the Platinum Wealth Ambassador Program. The Platinum Wealth Ambassador Program will give you two full years of unlimited access to all of Lynn's online classes, books, boot camps, master classes, and webinars. So give yourself the gift of wealth with no limits with 50% off on the Platinum Wealth Ambassador Program, available on lynnrichardson.com. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. So thankful for Chase. So thankful for Miss Cassandra Betts, who's here with us today, breaking it down and really giving us the basics. Because here's the deal, everybody. It may be time for you to just hit the reset button and start all over as if nothing has ever happened before. And that the power that you have today is what's going to fuel your financial future. So I'm, I'm just so excited about all that we've already heard about the budgeting tools and tips, um, the credit tools and tips. Um, make sure you are watching out for scams and everything that's out there attempting to take your hard earned money. Um, pay attention. Um, you know, I say he who is faithful with little will be faithful with much. He who is unfaithful with little will be unfaithful with much. And it's something that I follow quite a bit. And so this is about taking control, but also taking responsibility. Cassandra, I'm so glad that you're still here with us. I know that you are a very busy person. So I thank you for spending so much time with us today. Um, do you have any other tips for our, for our listeners? Yeah, you know, it's been a pleasure spending time with you, Lynn. So thank you so much. Yes, we have talked about a lot when it comes to ways to boost your financial health, how to really take control of your own financial journey. We talked about budgeting. We talked about that savings piece. We talked about credit. We talked about scams. And, and lastly, I just want to share with everyone is that there are so many resources out there for you all that can help you with your own journey, with whatever those goals are that you want to achieve related to finances. There are several articles and resources that we have on chase.com slash financial goals that is really caters to what is important to you. Okay. So I encourage you all to read some of those, watch some of the videos. It's free information for everyone that's out there. Um, there's also typically organizations and nonprofits in your own community that can help with some of these things as well. Um, we have our urban leagues in the community. We have our community development corporations that's local to specific to, to where you are. So please lean on those resources if you need any type of help when it comes to your finances. Um, there's lots of free help out there. But um, one thing I, I want to share with you all is the more you know about it, whether it's budgeting, the credit, um, scams, the more you know about it, the more you can control it. And that way it doesn't control you. Because I know you said, you know, is your budget controlling you or are you controlling your budget? But yeah, the yeah. more you know about it, the more you can control it. And there are a couple of things that I want you all to consider when you are taking control of your financial journey. Okay. So if you're, if you're listening, write this down if you're able to. But I want you to really understand and identify why is this so important to you? Okay. Um, why does this reason motivate you? Um, what changes are you willing to make in order to achieve these financial goals that you have in place, okay? Because they are all achievable, they are all attainable. And I want you to challenge yourself and ask yourself, when are you gonna start? Pick a date and start, okay? I promise if you do those things, you can achieve all of the goals that you have in place for yourself in order to feel more empowered about your finances. Wow, I love this. Let me say this, everybody. There, there were a couple pieces of the quote uh, that I shared, uh, one of Cassandra's favorite quotes, um, attract what you expect, reflect what you desire. This is all about becoming what you respect and mirroring what you admire. Um, these tips, um, the organizations that you have access to, all of this really falls into this category where I talk about networking. Your network determines your net worth. So this is about putting yourself in the rooms with the people who have the resources, who've been there, who've done that, and who are ready to help you get there and do it as well. Uh, so, so this is great. I love pick a date and start, and let's get it done now. Cassandra, before you go, can you just tell us how we can get in touch with you? 
Yes, absolutely. Please, I welcome all emails. And if you're in Chicago, um, please come and check me out. You can typically find me on the south side of Chicago. But uh, my name is Cassandra Betts, and my email address is Cassandra. I'll spell that out. C-A-S-A-N-D-R-A dot Betts. That's B like boy, E-T-T-S at Chase.com. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Okay, everybody. Listen, the, the harvest is here. The time is now. The resources are here and it is your season to win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chase. Thank you so much, Cassandra, for all that you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Don't turn that dial. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. W-V-O-N. More of the Millionaire's Roundtable coming up on the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. Welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I'm your host, Lynn Richardson, and we are creating millionaires one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time. And that means you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me tell you something. If you want to get more of what you already have, or if you want to get what you don't have, start being thankful for for what you already got. (laughs) And I am so thankful that we have Chase. Uh, I have been on tour uh, with Chase and MC Light and Damon John, and I'm very excited about it. And I'm always just so excited about any opportunity uh, to speak with the folks who are right here in our community taking the time um, and leveraging the resources that we need to get where we are trying to go. So Cassandra, thank you so much. Um, You guys need to really reach out and you need to get on the path right now where you are today. The harvest is here and the time is now. It's not too late for you. Let me tell you something. If I gave up when I thought it was too late, I am telling you right now, I would not be here talking to you right now. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. So I want you to listen uh, to what it is inside that you want for yourself. What do you want for yourself? Do you want to make sure you have enough money at the end of the month? If you want to um, be able to wake up every single day feeling good and free and uh, confident in your next financial move, then it starts with that budget that she was talking about. Nobody likes to hear the word budget, but the truth is a budget does not put us in bondage. A budget actually gives us power. So I want you to take your power. It's so important. If you can't do anything else, I'm going to encourage you to track your spending um, for the next 30 days. If you can simply write down every single thing you spend, Um, If that seems daunting, go back 30 days. Go back 30 days and go look in your cash app. Go look in your Venmo. Go look in your PayPal. Look in your bank account. uh, Anything that you have zelled, go and add up every single thing that you've spent. Because once you see what you have, then you have the control or the power to take control of it. It's when you don't know what you have. Um, that you feel like you're losing control is when you don't know where it's going. You just know that it's not enough. It's not enough to just know that it's not enough. Okay. Um, I've been there. I've done that. You've heard it. You know, so many of us who have conquered this particular part of the financial journey will tell you that we are the exact same as you are. We have been where you are. And guess what? We want to bring you to where we are right now. We're all going to go to the next level together. So, I want you to make sure that you're doing that. I want to give you a few tips about saving as well. So I want you to uh, remember what uh, Cassandra said about starting where you are right now with what you have. Just get that emergency fund going. Um, Here's how you can start. You can start with one dollar. Okay, one dollar this week. Another dollar, add to it next week. So week one, do one dollar. Week two, do two dollars. Week three, do three dollars. Week four, do four dollars. Go look at your calendar now and say, I'm going to start. This is my week one. If you match the dollar amount with the week, by week 52, you'll have $52 you'll put in that week. You will have over $1,500. Okay? So most Americans do not have at least $1,000 saved you'll have 1500. All right. So that's a great way to start. Here's another challenge. 
Uh, you can start with the $2 challenge. Week one, do $2. Week two, do $4. Week three, do $6. Week four, do $8. Okay, so whatever week you are in, multiply that week times two and keep doing that every single week. And at the end of the year, end of the year, you will have over $3,000. Okay, so it's something very easy. It's very simple. You can pick out your day of the week. Where you're going to take this money and you're going to give yourself some power. Now, I want to share with you something that I think is very important. Along this journey, uh, so many people think that you have to do it alone. You're ashamed. There is no shame in not having the right financial system in place. It's happened to almost everybody. Everybody has either had a money problem is having a money problem or will have a money problem at some time in the future, or they know somebody with a money problem who's trying to make it their problem, (laughs) right? So because of that, every last one of us understands. So there is no shame. Now, and if you feel like you are in a situation where shame is a part of the game, then go find a new crew, okay? Your network determines your net worth. And The Bible says that plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. So I want you to reach out to your local Chase representative. I want you to reach out to your personal banker. I want you to reach out to Cassandra and her team. I want you to reach out and get the help that you need. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to buy a home? You need a team. Are you trying to uh, expand your small small business or your home-based business? You need a team. Are you simply trying to put a budget in place so that you can see your way from one day to the next, one week to the next, one month to the next? Then you need a team. All right. And if you fail before, understand that that's happened too. all you have to do is pick yourself back up, keep going and get it going again. So this has been uh, such a great uh, hour of power. Um, Thank you so much once again, Chase, for all that you're doing. Um, Can't wait to join uh, my uh, fellow, uh, my colleagues on the Advancing Black Pathways tour with J.P. Morgan Chase. We've been having such a good time. And um, guess what, everybody? The harvest is here. The time is now. It is your season to win because winning is what we do. And I know you have it in you. Okay. I'm financial expert Lynn Richardson. You may have seen me on Good Morning America giving financial advice. When you get my freedom package, you get the 21 days to financial freedom and how to start a home-based business. See you in class. Who should you go to for financial advice? Author, TV personality, and celebrity financial coach, Lynn Richardson. Let's bring in financial expert Lynn Richardson. My girl, Lynn Richardson. We have Dr. Lynn Richardson. Good morning. Financial expert Lynn Richardson. Lynn knows what's up. We're joined by financial expert Lynn Richardson, author of Get Your Money Back, Tax Deductions You Never Knew About. Be at peace with the money that you have because everybody knows money cannot buy happiness. To learn more about Lynn Richardson's webinars, books, and online courses, please go to lynnrichardson.com. You have been listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I am your host, Lynn Richardson. It's WVON 1690 AM, the talk of Chicago, the voice of the nation, our favorite radio station. I want you to follow me on social media at Lynn Richardson. Follow this show at Lynn Millionaire. Go and get help at asklynn.org because I want to help you take it to the next level. Guess what? I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.